prevented them to hit with their head. There was something that they were instructed to do that caused it. It's not just keep your head up. Uh, I had a dad at my clinic the other day call me. He was crying because he's been telling his eight-year-old kid the first time he's ever gone play tackle football, everything in the, in the clinic, I said, causes injury. And he, he literally called me and was crying on the phone that he's telling his eight-year-old kid to do things wrong, but then yelling at him at the other about not having his head up. So you can't wrap them up and keep your head up at the same time. You can't do it. So what do we do? Do we get rid of wrap them up? That, that language? Yes. Get rid of it. You got another one. Get rid of it. That's all you got to do. Lock on. Knuckles up, elbows down. Okay, so that's what you're doing with your hands at the very end. Are you locked on the jersey? Yeah, the, the back, back of the jersey, top of the numbers. Or if you got, think of it, for guys who like, practice, it's top of the numbers. If you got a game, you know, with jersey, name, first, first letter of the last name in the right palm, grab it. Last letter of the last name in the left palm, grab it. But sometimes you're not going to get your knuckles up and your elbows down because the dude has a, bat, a football in his hand and your, his elbows stop you, right? Stop your hands just so your hands are there. But it's the initial rip that causes the hips to come forward. Once the hips come forward, the head's out of there. That's why we don't talk about where to put the head. It's how you rip and shoot. The head is taken care of by your hips. Your hips control your hips and arms, control your, control your head, makes a safe tackle. I know we might not all have been able to tell this in the morning, but there is some semblance of a schedule that we have to try to keep to. So we're going to we're gonna have to cut this one short. Bobby and I will obviously be here for the, for the remainder of the session through Thursday night. We'd love to spend time with you, love to talk to you, love to inform any more questions. We have a, a quick five minutes.